Well, believe it or not, blood type matters for many reasons, some of which you probably don't even think about or even think would matter. So take a look at this. Hi, doctors. We've been married for two years, and we're ready to start a family. We read a little bit about incompatibility with our blood types and wanted to know how it affected our offspring. We just want to know, is this something we should be concerned about? So we have Karen and Oswald here with us. Thank you. And they're just such a lovely couple. I didn't know my blood type except, you know, when I was tested for, uh, when I was pregnant with my son, because that's usually when a lot of women, especially women, will find out about. And what ha used to happen before was when you first got married, you actually would get tested for your, your, your blood type and actually STDs. You guys yeah, remember, remember that? Because it was a long time they stopped doing that. But it's really important for women because if a woman is negative, meaning she doesn't have certain antibodies in her blood type and her partner is positive, this can have a lot of effects on the fetus. And basically what we see mainly, predominantly, is anemia. Basically it can attack the baby's blood. And this typically doesn't happen in the first pregnancy, but in the second pregnancy. Because what happens is the mom will see the positive in the first pregnancy and it doesn't necessarily amount to just a strong response against the baby. But in the second one, the cells have really seen this and are really built up and so they can really attack that second baby. And so a lot of people who didn't know that was happening, they would have a perfectly fine baby and in the next pregnancy start to have miscarriages and things like that. But now we have this shot, which is basically RH immunoglobulin, which is Rogam. And you can get this if you're RH negative. And typically what happens is anytime you have bleeding in pregnancy, if you're a woman who's RH negative, say A negative or O negative, something like that, and particularly if your par partner's positive, then anytime you have bleeding, meaning there's a crossage that those antibodies may be able to pass between mom and baby, then you're going to get the shot. But typically we give it um, around 24 to 28 weeks and then right after delivery. So as long as you find out, and we always do it at the first visit, and that's why early prenatal care is so, so important, then you can you know, be on that schedule for shots. And again, you'll get it also after if you had an amnio because that would be a you know, potential crossing of mom's blood. And have you guys, you guys look like a great couple. Thank you. How long have you been Thank married? You. Well, it'll be two years and two weeks. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Excellent. So, do you know your blood type? Yes, I'm A positive. And I'm O positive. Oh, so, so then you don't have anything to worry about. You can actually say, he is your type. All right. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Good one. Best of luck to both of you. Yeah.